Hello and welcome to Technology CBD YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong. Today is I'm going to share with you how to add the seconds to your desktop clock. Okay, especially to Windows 11. Okay, if you watch one of my video last time, it's called the most five, you know, the top five annoying things in Windows 11. One of the things that I miss out the most is you can't have clock in seconds anymore when you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and somehow someone have been created a very very awesome open source software okay it's called 11 clock and once you download it install and running in the background your desktop clock have the seconds again yay okay so let me show you how you're going to do it and it's a very simple way most importantly is free Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you. In Windows 11, how you have your desktop clock with seconds. And most importantly, let me repeat one more time, is free. If you look at this slide here, do you realize my clock is actually half the seconds? Okay, how are you going to do it? It's very simple. Go to your browser and search 11 clock yes after you search 11 clock i believe the very first one under the github you shall see this guy okay have a customizable clock on your windows 11 plus bar so when you reach here i know it's quite complicated right okay for two non programmer that never visit this website called github i understand okay if you do know how to download from here you can refer to my download link in my video descriptions okay i did show you how to do it however if you know what you are doing you can come here and get the installer by yourself most importantly is there are a lot of features okay today i'm not going to cover so many things i'm just going to tell you how to twist the clock to have the seconds okay so far it's just like this okay once you download that and install the whole thing okay it's very simple let me show you okay you just open the setting file it's like this it's basically there are quite a number of settings here okay i'm not going to cover all i'm going to show you like this is generally like you want to check for updates um you want to apply for the silent updates and i want to show the icon in system tray so that whenever i want to change something i can just refer to tray icon rather than go to search for the program itself okay the most important part is I would personally um, recommend that you go for this guy called hide the clock in full screen mode so that when you have the uh, you know full screen presentation or even you, you watch a movie something like that it will hide then yes I will go for this and I also will set the clock to show a primary screen assuming you have double screen your laptop as well as your external monitor okay then the rest is really depends on how you want to customize it and the position so far i do nothing i just want it as usual and the appearance i do do anything as well okay this is the dead and time setting this is the part i mentioned so far is show seconds on the clock i want to show the time i want to show the seconds and i want to show the date as well but these two i don't want just up to you whether you, how you want to customize it. For example, I should I don't want to show the date, so it become like this. If I show the date, it become like this. I want to show the week number as well. It become like this. Oops, let me show you. Do you see this guy? Week five. Okay. I want to show the weekday as well. It's called Saturday, but I don't want to be so crowded. So this is my very personal preference. Okay. And of course, all other settings is up to you how you want to win. It's so simple, right? And today, I'm just to share with you how to have your desktop clock with seconds, especially in Windows 11 and in 100% free. <laughs> okay. I'm sure all of you have been amazed, like, how could this be done with such a short time since last I complained, I think, maybe two months ago? When I first upgrade uh, to 
three months ago when I first upgraded to Windows 11, I found out the annoying things that we seen from Windows 11. And gratefully, there are a lot of great developers out there and in the open source community that came out such great apps. Okay, it's called 11 Cloud one more time. If you cannot find a way how to download it from GitHub, you can refer to my descriptions to get an installer, don't worry, you're not going to inject any small way. I'm just going to download it and paste it on my website so that it's easier for you guys to download it directly. Okay? So it's very simple and I hope you enjoy so far. If you like the idea about what I share so far, the tips and tricks, especially in Windows, please click a like and subscribe to my channel as well as put a ring so that you will get notified whenever I share, upload such a video as well as I'm doing my live every Wednesday at 15 p.m. Hope to see you guys and last but not least, stay home, stay safe and bye-bye.